Welcome to Core Program. In this video, we discuss about static and non-static member in CSA. Before starting this video, please go through our previous video of static class in CSA. In that video session, we already discussed about what is static class and what are the benefits of that. In this video, we just focus what are static and non-static member in CSA. The member of a static class is divided into two categories. One is static members, another is non-static members. The static member are defined as the member of a class which does not require an instance for initialization or execution are known as the static members. Whereas the non-static members are defined as the members which require an instance of a class for both initialization and execution are known as the non-static members. Then let's understand when do you need to use static and non-static member in CSA. Whenever we declare a variable by using a static modifier or when we declare a variable inside any static block, then those variables are considered as static variables. Whereas the rest of other are considered as non-static variables. A static variable gets initialized only once during the life cycle of a class, whereas the non-static variable gets initialized either zero or n number of times, depending upon the number of objects created of the, for that class. Another point is that if you want a variable to have the same value throughout all instances of a class, then you need to declare that variable as static variable. So the static variables are going to be hold the application level data which is going to be the same for all objects. The static variable get initialized immediately once the execution of the class starts whereas the non-static variables are initialized only after the creating the object of a class and that is true each time the object of the class is created. And another main point is if you want to access the static member of a class then you need to access them using the class name whereas you need to an instance of a class to access the non-static members. Let's create an example and see how they works. So let's create a sample application and we'll discuss how the static member and non-static member are work there. This is the same application that we have already used for the static class. Let's create a non-static variable here intx this one is non-static non-static member and another variable is created for the static member to create the static member we need to use the keyword as static static int y let's set value is 500 let's create a constructor of that program class to create the constructor just type ct or and double tap it should create the constructor for that particular class then on the constructor we defined a parameter as intx then here declare this dot x equal to our value is x then first access the starting variable here static member as you already discussed the static member can uh, call directly so we defined as console dot right line let's say static variable y equal to program dot y you can see the static member y is directly called by the using the class name here and for access the non-static member we should create an object and uh, then we access that to create that program p1 equal to new program and some values is to be required so let's say 50 then another object will create program p2 equal to let's say it's 100 then to call the non-static member we write that console dot right line p1 dot x p2 dot x then finally add the console dot and here the static variable is called directly whereas the non-static variable is called after the creation of that object Let's run our application and see the output. You can see the output is printed at starting variable y is equal to 500. 
then the first object x is equal to 50 and the second object x equal to 100. Now discuss what is the scope of non-static variables in CSA. The non-static members are created when the object is created and are destroyed when the object is destroyed. The object is destroyed when its reference variable is destroyed or initialized with null. So we can say that the scope of the object is the scope of its reference variables. Then let's understand why in the starting member the static keyword is used. If you declare a method using static modifier then it is called as a static method else it is non-static method. And another important point is that you cannot consume the non-static members directly within a static method. If you want to consume any non-static members within a static method then through the object you can access the non-static members. On other hand you can directly consume the static member within non-static method. Some rules to follow while working with static and non-static member in C sub. If the member is non-static to static then it can be consumed only by using the object of that class. When it is static to static then it can consume directly or by using the class name. When it is static to non-static then can be consumed directly by using also class name. Non-static to non-static can be consumed directly by using this keyword. So till now we have discussed what are static and non-static member in c -sharp, when do we need to use static and non-static member in c -sharp, and what is the scope of non-static variable in c -sharp, and what the rule to follow working with static and non-static member in c -sharp. For more details please go through the core program website. The link is shared in the description box. Do like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.